What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Next week is literally Christmas, which is crazy. This past week for me has been extremely, extremely busy. So today I just wanted to keep it calm, keep the vibe chill, and show you guys some funny transgender memes that I happen to find. Hopefully you guys have humor like I do. If not, this could be kind of awkward, so click away. Also super weird, somebody asked me if I was bald. There's nothing wrong with being bald, but no, to answer anyone's question, I'm not bald. I just like wearing hats because, I don't know, I just like wearing hats and it is what it is. Let me, let me be great in my hats, like. Anyway, let's hop into it. My name's Kyle, AKA Prince Kyle, don't forget it. And I have an Instagram as well as a TikTok where I share my female to male transition as well as give tips to anybody that would like to hear about it. So without further ado, let's just hop into it. Closeted trans guys, their moms. This is so true. This was literally my mother. My whole childhood, I wasn't allowed to get or pick out my own clothes until I could pay for it. So I didn't start buying my own clothes and having my own fashion until like after high school. So before then, my mom would try so hard to put me in the girliest clothes because she knew that she liked it but I did not and I never was going to. I don't know if she thought that by forcing me into these clothes, I was just gonna magically become girly or what. I was the kind of kid that preferred to wear like the Bermuda shorts that were like knee length with the stripes and the checkers. They were the most boyish outfits I could find without actually wearing men's clothes. So that's what I like to wear. But whenever my mom would go get my clothes, she would come home with the girliest crap. Like I'll never forget this one time, she came home with an outfit from Hollister and it was these little skimpy jean shorts with a crop top and she came home with it and I'm like, Mom, I hope you enjoyed buying that. I really hope you did. I hope that satisfied you, but you know, I'm never gonna wear it. So you might as well return it now while you got the chance. And I really hope you brought that receipt because otherwise that outfit is gonna be staying in my closet. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, thankfully she did return it, but she she tried, she tried. I have a lot of problems, but being a boy would solve 98% of them. Yes, honestly, it would solve 100% of them. Let's be real. A lot of people say money can't buy happiness. Um, for trans people, money can buy a lot of happiness. I promise you that. This is only funny if you know the accent behind it. I'm not even gonna try and butcher it, but I can like hear it in my head. You best start respecting trans folks' pronouns, darling, or I'm gonna have to make your pronouns was were. <laughs> it's so corny, but it's so funny. Honestly, I'm gonna start using that one because if you can't respect my pronouns, you're gonna be a was were too. <laughs> Dear mom, being a female was a phase. Sincerely, your son. Preach to all the parents that say, oh, my child's going through a phase. They're not really transgender, blah, 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 blah. No, our whole life was a phase and we're now coming to you as our authentic selves. So everything prior to the day we come out was a phase. Now, this is us. So like it or like it. <laughs> this one's probably my favorite because it's so true. People will call boats, guns, and cars she, but they won't call a trans woman she. If any of you call your cars or objects genders or give them gender specific names, please enlighten me. Why is it so hard to call a trans woman or a trans man their preferred pronoun, but you can call a Honda Civic she all day, every day, as if it talks back to you, like, I don't understand it. I don't get it. I don't get it. If you have answers for me, comment down below because I would love to know. <laughs> I don't know if Phineas and Ferb is still popular today, but it was when I was growing up, honestly, like six years ago. Let me know in the comments if it's still popular. Binder Debubinator. <laughs> I can literally hear him saying it in my head too. Debubinator. De 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 <laughs> yeah, I'll take my phone away. When somebody calls you by your birth name, what? Who is that? Honestly, I'm so guilty of this one. So yeah, my name is not legally changed yet. 
I'm not gonna get into it. I think I've made a video about why it's not, but I'm getting there. Be patient with me, be patient with me. But so many times I'll be in public and my birth name will be used because that's what they have on file. And I won't wanna out myself. So I'll just awkwardly sit there like, talking to you, I'm talking to you, I'm talking to you guys, <laughs> cause it's not me. I will literally just sit there so awkwardly because I'm so scared to get up and I'll just pretend I have no idea who they're talking about knowing damn well they're talking about me. Help me, I'm stuck in my binder. LOL, nerd. <laughs> I'm so guilty of this one, you guys. So when I first found out what being transgender meant, it was by one of my friends who I identified as transgender. And this was back in like 10th grade, so I've never heard of any trans terminology. And he told me that he was wearing a binder and I'm looking at him like, why are you wearing a school supply? <laughs> and I was so embarrassed cause like, bro, what? Like, but I, I can't even lie. I had no idea what a binder was. Cause the first thing that comes to anybody's mind who's not familiar with like trans stuff would think the school supply like a binder. All right. This is only funny if you have dark humor because I know for some people it's, it's a touchy subject, but whatever. You okay? No mother I'm trans. <laughs> So I can't relate to this now because honestly, like I'm happy being trans. I like my identity. Are there things I would change? Of course, but that would be in a perfect world. But overall, I love being transgender. Like it, it's cool, it's chill, it's a vibe. But there was a point in time where I didn't really care to be transgender. So I could relate to this 100% because people would be like, oh, like, are you all right? Like between you guys, there was a point in time where I was really, really low in life and I got put in the hospital. And my mom and doctors and nurses and therapists kept asking me, are you okay, are you okay? And it's like, no, I'm not okay. I literally am living in a body that does not align with me. I feel trapped. I feel like I'm in a cage 24 seven since birth and nobody understands me. No, I'm not okay. Why would I be okay? Why? Why? So yeah, I understood that one like 110% because yeah, no, I was not okay. I wasn't. All right guys, that's all I got for you today. I hope you did enjoy this video. I hope you guys have humor like me, corny humor, dark humor, all the above. And if you did like this video, please let me know in the comments because I would love to do more videos like this because I could do meme videos all day, every day, reaction videos all day, every day. Again, Christmas is next week. I'm not sure if I'm gonna post just because it's gonna be a very busy week with work and wrapping presents and just getting ready for the holiday. So I will update you and let you know if I do end up posting. Until then, I hope you guys have an amazing week. Get ready for Christmas and I hope you guys do enjoy the holiday. So as always, I love you and peace.